Hey guys, today your objective is to learn how to add new apps from the Google Chrome store so that you can access them from your Chromebook or any computer that you're logged into your Google account with. Okay, so here is your uh, assignment today. You're going to click on Google Slides here on the assignment. And this is what you're going to be filling out today as you're exploring adding new apps. So you are going to find an app that you like or mostly like and give it a review. You'll place the name of the app here. Reviewed by is your name because you're going to be reviewing it. And then you're going to rate it. Let's say, for example, you want to give your um, app four stars because you like it, but you don't love it. So you're going to hold down the shift key and you can multiple select and then go to the paint bucket and fill in with paint. You can change the color. It does not need to be yellow, although that's pretty um, standard to have yellow stars. Then here you're going to be writing complete sentences after each item and you want to be very specific with your sentences. For example, what this app does, you do not want to answer something like this app edits photos because we know that we are looking at apps that edit photos. So something more like this app, you can add, you can add uh, filters that will change your photo to make them look like a painting. That's pretty specific. So you'll answer those all in complete sentences. Down here, you wanna save a space because tomorrow you will be making a YouTube video. Um, somewhere quietly around the campus, you'll have a seat out there with your Chromebook and you will be making a screencast about the app. So get really good at using your app today. Then over here, you are going to be placing the screenshot of what you've created. Okay, so to make a screenshot, here it is right here. You want to make sure you click on command, hold down the shift and the number four button, and that will make a screenshot. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a bit. So to add new apps, you are going to click on a new tab, go to the upper left-hand corner to the app patch, click on that, and click on web store. Some of you do not have your app patch showing because you've added crazy things to it, and that does not show. So if that happens, then you want to type in Google Web Store or Google Chrome Store and click on chrome.google.com and then you'll be in the same place as if you had clicked on your um, app patch. Okay, so we're going to type in photo editor and we're going to look for extensions to add. There's only three showing here, and then there are three themes. So to add, look for more extensions, I'm going to click on more extension results, and a whole list of those come up. So I want to kind of look at my reviews. This one's got 412 reviews as opposed to nine there, and it's got three and a half. Not bad. Grab images from the web and edit them. We're not going to do that. We're editing our own photos, so I might not want to click on that. Um, let's do this one. Be funky. That looks good. It's got 95 reviews at four stars. So let's add that extension. As you add the extensions, they come up here to the top. You can also access them if you're on the new tab and you click on your app patch, then all of your items will be there. I have so many I can scroll over. Um, so to access it, I can click here or I can click up here. So let's try this one. Is that going to work for me today? That's not working. So I'm going to click on this Be Funky Photo Editor. And let's say, you know, I haven't used this before. I want to explore today. I'm not going to ask a teacher how to do it. I need to learn this all on my own because that's what I'm going to do when I'm adding a new apps throughout the rest of my life. I'm totally welcome to um, ask friends for help, though. Like, oh, how did you do that? That's great if you do that. So I'm going to click on Upload. That looks good from my computer. And then I'm going to choose a photo. Maybe that's on my desktop. That one looks good. Okay, so I took this photo. I'm not going to use a sample photo. I'm going to use one of my own. And then looks like here's some tools over here. Here's some effects. We'll start with that one. Let's go with featured effects. This looks interesting. So I'm going to click on that. I like that. Whoa, that zooms it in and out. Okay, I'm just testing different buttons. Um, that looks like it's up all the way. What is this settings? I have no idea what this is. Effect amount. Ooh, too much. Okay, D maybe not that. Let's see what the shadows look like. Okay, that's really crazy. So I'm just going to leave it like that. 
Let's see what else I have. Artsy. Um, okay, let's see what this one looks like. Let's click on that and let's see. Oh, so looks like it might come out with a watermark on it, which I might want to write in my review. Oh, that's, that's kind of interesting. So I like that. I might want to write this in my review. And also I might want to only give it four stars because the cool features have a watermark on it. So I might want to write that down. Then, um, whoop, let me go back there. Oops, where is my, there we go. Now I need to make a screenshot of my work, but also of the user interface. Now the user interface is what the user sees as they are working on that program. So it includes all of this. Some user interfaces are not very easy to look at or to find what you're looking for. So we wanna make sure we include all that in our screenshot. So I'm gonna hold down Command, Shift, and the four button. And when I do, do you notice that my arrow is now crosshairs? So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna click, hold my mouse down, I'm gonna drag it all down to the bottom, release. Now it is taking taken a screenshot, it is right here on my computer desktop. I'm gonna go back to my app review and I'm going to place my screenshot right here. That is the wrong screenshot. I'm gonna delete that, let's get this other one, place that on there. And remember only to shrink the size with the corners, um, not with the um, sides. I'm just gonna grab the corner handles. And now I can begin to type all of this in. That is not how you spell that. Be funky, hello, be funky. And reviewed by. Okay, and then I'm gonna continue to review it here. And this is due today.